So yesterday, the WWE made a big-time announcement, something that we had anticipated coming for a while, knew what it was inevitability, and that is that on April 3rd, 2016, WrestleMania 32 will come to us live from AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. This is a big deal for the WWE. This is a big get. It's the right venue for the right show, perhaps at the right time. This is important for the WWE at a time where this company is struggling, and they are struggling, even if they're not broke or destitute, they are struggling. They don't have the same foothold that they once did, especially in the mainstream. They don't have the same following, at least domestically. They don't have a lot of what they once had. They've made a lot of mistakes from a creative standpoint. Frankly, they've made a lot of mistakes from a business standpoint as well. At this moment in time, come next year, WrestleMania 32, that is going to be an incredibly important, significant, big show and big moment in time in the history of this company, not only in that moment, but going forward. There's no question about that. And it's going to be an incredibly important event at an incredibly important time for the WWE because it is a chance for them to once again make a statement and say that, they still matter, that they are still big-time players in the world of entertainment. And you could say this about them, and you could say that about them, but at the end of the day, by God, look at us. We're drawing over 100,000 people to our biggest event of the year. What can your sport do? What could your form of entertainment do? That company needs that type of momentum. This company needs that type of statement. And they have the opportunity in front of them to be able to make said statement at WrestleMania 32 at AT&T Stadium. So I'm happy for the WWE. I applaud the WWE for doing this and going there because they need to go there and they desperately badly need this statement. And I hope, and I hope, that they don't just sit there and throw WrestleMania 31 under the bus to set up to WrestleMania 32. I hope that when it comes time, they actually build up to WrestleMania 32 and treat it like the big, significant, massive deal that it is going to be. They give it the level of importance that it merits and deserves and it desires and requires. With that said, though, there's a part of me that really isn't all that happy about WrestleMania 32 being in Dallas, Texas, being at AT&T Stadium, if I could be so honest for a second. You know, as kind of a, an older school fan... I attach a great deal of sentimental value to WrestleMania 3. To me, it's the greatest WrestleMania of all time, and all of that's fine and good. Um, a lot of you will disagree with me, whatever the case might be. But to me, WrestleMania 3 is the gold standard. Part of the reason for all those years it was the gold standard of WrestleMania is for almost three decades now is because it drew the largest attendance by far of any WrestleMania in existence. It was the right show at the right moment in time for the right company to make the right statement that we're here, we're in charge, we are big time players, you can't dismiss us anymore. That's what WrestleMania 3 was. It was that type of statement event. It was a culmination of a lot of good decisions by the WWF at the time over the previous two to three years, and the big payoff was WrestleMania 3. You can sit there and mock wrestling all you want. You can sit there and knock wrestling all you want, but when they're drawing 93,173 people and setting a world indoor attendance record at WrestleMania 3, you have to take them seriously. And that payoff from that show was something that the WWE was able to build off of over the next almost three decades, if we're being so honest, it's true. But now I look at WrestleMania 32, and I see this massive stadium that the WWE's got to give a show that will actually merit, justify, and deserve, and require that type of stadium, instead of just trying to put a show in a big stadium. We're at a time where the WWE, again, needs that massive statement. They need something to say that we are to be taking seriously. We are going to be big players now, and we will be big players for generations to come. We are one of the leaders in entertainment throughout the world. We are to be taken seriously. We are still legitimate and a big freaking deal. That's what WrestleMania 32 can represent in so many ways, but they really don't deserve that. This product at this time doesn't merit or justify 
having over 100,000 people come to watch the show. This company at this time doesn't deserve to have 110 plus thousand people come to that show. At this time, the WWE hasn't done nearly enough, nearly good enough as a company or as a brand to just throw the WrestleMania name out there and break the world indoor attendance record that was set by the NBA All-Star Game in AT&T Stadium a couple of years ago. They don't deserve that. And maybe, yes, there's a part of me that just doesn't want to see them break that record because I always want WrestleMania 3 to have that record because of the significance and importance of that show at that time in the company's history. I'll give you that. If you're going to hate on me on that, go ahead. Because I probably deserve it. Maybe this is just me being a fuddy-duddy. Maybe this is just me being a negative net. I don't know. And I don't really care. But I know that at this moment in time, the WWE is going to sit there and have this show draw this tremendous crowd in part because of the WWE name and the WrestleMania event is going to draw in those people, whether they deserve it or not, whether they've earned it or not. And it's going to create this false sense of security that things are going a whole lot better than they really are. And it's going to fool and trick a lot of people into thinking that the product and the direction of the company and the business as a whole is a whole lot better than it actually is. It needs to be a step in the rebound. It needs to be a step in the improvement process. My concern is that when they get to that point, they're just going to sit there and say, well, this is what it is. You know, we don't need to improve anything. Look at the audience that we just drew for this event. Look at for all this money that we drew as part of this WrestleMania weekend. It's going to breed complacency. And I think in a lot of ways, that's been a big enemy of the WWE in recent years, along with Vince being senile and out of touch and some really bad business decisions and some really bad decisions in terms of the creative direction of the product. It's been the general feeling, in my opinion, of complacency around the product. Wanting to do a certain amount just to be able to do this, but not really wanting to go outside of the box, not really wanting to step out and take huge risks, the right type of risk to be able to potentially grow that business and make even more money and grow that brand the right way. To me, as far as I'm concerned, WrestleMania 32 should be once one of those once in a decade, once in those a generation type of events. It should be earth shattering. It should be that event that we talk about for the rest of our lives. I'm concerned, however, that it won't be. I mean, I look ahead and I say, what's the main event going to be? What's going to be that match that's going to ensure you that you draw that many people? The first one that would come to my mind in theory for years would have been John Cena versus The Undertaker. I've had that penciled in for years. Whenever they would have WrestleMania at AT&T Stadium, John Cena versus Undertaker must be the main event because that match right there is guaranteed to sell it out. And that right there enough will feel like an epic, iconic type of WrestleMania main event. A match somewhat similar maybe to Hogan and Andre at WrestleMania 3. It's true if you really think about it. The standard bearer of so many years for the WWE versus the guy that is the ultimate measuring stick. The immovable force, if you will, in The Undertaker. I mean, you know, what else are you going to do? Austin versus somebody? You know, I just sit there and I look and their failure and inability to create new stars. They're always going back to the same old type of guys and Cena and Triple H and Shirley Orton as well. You know, I just have tremendous concerns that they're going to have this big show and they're going to draw this big crowd and they're going to give us a haphazard kind of half ass WrestleMania and try to sell us this bill of goods like this is the greatest thing ever. I hope I'm proven wrong because this is potentially exciting. This is potentially something very good for the WWE. Again, more importantly than anything else, it is the opportunity, the chance for this company to make a statement at a time where they need to make said statement very badly. But I hope that they're only able to sell like 92,000 tickets. That indoor attendance record belongs to WrestleMania 3, damn it! And that's where it deserves to stay.